So just the other day, we officially got the trailer for Update 17 Part 3, which has been rumored to be the number one biggest Blocks Fruits update ever made. Which, you know what I'm saying? Gets me kind of excited, because I love Blocks Fruits. So guys, today, we're going to be going over every single one of the leaks and just seeing exactly how big this update is going to be, and also some of the things that you can do to prepare yourself to get all of the nice new goodies that are going to come with this update. All right, guys, so as as far as I know, this right here was actually the very first leak that we got after the update was released. And it was this teaser for this little thing that is gonna be Awakened Doe. I mean, everyone got really excited because, dude, look at this. This is looking amazing. And something that's actually uh, kind of almost sometimes forgotten about, but that has been posted about a lot, is how you can have every single hockey color now on your Awakened Doe like effects and stuff, which is actually gonna be pretty cool. All right, guys, now first and foremost, I just wanna point this out. On the 2nd of April, Rip Indra showed this picture right here, which uh, he kind of said as a joke, uh -huh, this was for April Fools. Now, funnily enough, you can actually see that this was posted on April 2nd. Now, this might have just been my time zone, but very shortly, we will see that this might have very well not been as much of a joke, but a little bit more serious than that. Now, guys, can I just say that if this gets added to Blocks Roots, this will be so exciting, uh, especially if it looks exactly like this. Now, I have a feeling that it very well might because honestly look at all this stuff in the background this looks to be the blocks fruits development world so it actually wouldn't blow my mind if they use this exact model in the new blocks fruits update because they are going to be revamping the rubber fruit okay so of course that is going to be very far from the last thing that's going to get updates so let's check this out right here working together with death smurf on new inventory concepts which um i mean this one specifically right here i don't know if i love it um but i do like the overall idea of a, an inventory overhaul or just a gui overhaul in general because i think it's a little bit dated so yeah this is pretty good stuff all right now once again we have another thing that i feel like is very often overlooked and that is this tweet from the master himself rip intra a secret system is coming next update which should make builds more interesting and unique because currently guys let's be honest almost every single build in the game uses just kind of like two things you either have a gun and a sword or a sword and a fruit and a or, or a gun and a fruit like you don't really have too many interesting variations of those things apparently melee sword and gun builds are going to become much more viable instead of just always using uh, melee and fruit which is like i said kind of like the most common and popular thing also, they're going to solve the issue with people that have just a crap ton of piled up money by giving them a new option to spend it on, which is going to be, hopefully, maybe you can now buy stat points, which would be super freaking cool. It gives swords, guns, and accessories more variety instead of always using the highest damage items. And it also improves the economy by adding something rarer than endgame fruits. Now, that is, that is extremely exciting because what is rarer than like the dragon fruit, the soul fruit? What are they going to? to add that's like a step above that also they're gonna allow more expensive items uh into training such as permanent fruits as well as more trade slots which is gonna be, just be fun so yeah guys some very interesting stuff right there then we got this little teaser right here which is honestly was a little bit just like what is this gonna be but yeah they teased a new type of dash which uh looks a little bit more stylized but shortly after they actually teased a completely new dash which for some reason the only video i can find is by kit which is fine I love kids. So yeah, guys, as you can see, if you actually dash, for instance, off a roof, it will actually launch you into the air in like a new and really interesting way, which is going to make movement way more fun. Now, guys, I feel like most people already know this, but they are planning to pretty much revamp every single fruit in the game. So these blocky things are the old one. They look a little bit poopy, if you ask me. And they're going to look like this. Uh, all kinds of new models, and uh, it's going to look quite nice. So I'm very excited about that. For example, here we got the ice fruit. Honestly looking just... Mwah, chef's kiss. I love that fruit. That looks really, really cool. Now, for phone users, they're going to improve gameplay a bunch, at least I assume from this tweet right here. It's going to be quite nice. All right, guys. And now we're getting into some of the more recent updates. For instance, there is going to be a completely new ocean effect, which is going to look absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this looks. It looks absolutely sick. 
And here we can also start seeing some of the different fruit he works. Uh, this is apparently the new uh, Dragon Sea effect, which is going to look absolutely mental. Right here, we got the new Unawakened Light Sea rework, which is also just looking absolutely crazy. And then we got this teaser right here. Something a little bit weird. It's actually the very first teaser that is kind of like showing like Naruto, uh, strangely enough. So yeah, here you have uh, one of the final battles. So if you don't want to get spoiled for Naruto, don't really look at this clip right now. But yeah, super cool looking stuff. But so far, it just seems mostly like a little fun teaser until they just kept posting Naruto clips. Right here, we got Kakishi looking at this right here. Now, this guy has been honestly shown absolutely everywhere. I've seen it all over the place. And this is pretty much rumored to either be the new Awakened Spike or something related to the new uh, Doe Fruit. So yeah, we're not sorry, the Doe Fruit Awakening. So this is looking absolutely incredibly exciting, if you ask me, because that looks mental. <laughs> then, guys, we got this little teaser right here. If this tweet gets 20,000 likes, I'll reveal an early sneak peek of a crazy new weapon coming next update. So, uh, yeah, this one will blow your mind, guys. Uh, it, oh, actually, guys, can see, I liked it. It got 20,000 likes, which means that we got the teaser. And this right here is the image that was showing below. And guys, this right here, <laughs> as promised, here's your reward. The Cursed Dual Katana, which is gonna be Kazuki Odin's swords, which look like this in the anime. You can kind of see the both of them right there. Also, they're gonna be mythical, which is gonna be nuts. All right, and uh, apparently the X ability is um, Slayer of Goliath, uh, which is uh, in reference to something in relation to the anime. I won't spoil anything, but pretty cool stuff. Uh, this weapon is in a different realm of power. This is the start of a new era, unlocked by the hardest puzzle yet. Who will be the first to solve the secret? Which sounds incredibly exciting. Because, dude, think about it. We've already had a lot of powerful stuff. Dragon fruit, soul fruit, true triple katana, and stuff like that. And we're going to enter a new realm of power. What does that even mean? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Uh, demon timing is an understatement of what my boy has accomplished for this update. Here is one of the many fruit remakes coming next update. Courtesy of El Demonio. Life is a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread comes first. And the bread in this case being the new lava. Oh, I think this is Awakened Lava Remake. Looking absolutely juicy. I love this look. I mean, lava is already one, one of my favorite fruits in the entire game. So to see that it's getting a rework, which most it's just gonna make things look even cooler. It makes me very excited. All right, Lord blah, 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 Glitch. TB Glitch, uh, aka Lightning McGlitch, has been grinding all day and day in and day out, upgrading our combat animations into crazy new versions. Here's a quick preview of everything that you'll be tasting soon. So yeah, these are some of the new animations, uh, which are pictures, so you can't really see the animations, but you can still kind of imagine how cool this stuff is looking. I mean, Rengoku's sword right there. We got the pole, which is being actually held, like how the blind guy forgot his name holds the pole. We got the Bicento up in here. And apparently, heavy weapons will also be receiving an area effect damage every last hit, which is going to make them a lot more viable. Currently, uh, nobody uses them. They're honestly kind of crap. So yeah, this is going to be very, very nice to finally see. All right. So yeah, guys, here we finally make it to the trailer. This is the very first teaser. Uh, they're like, it should be done this week, coming very soon. And oh boy, it did. The update 17 part three trailer is going to be absolutely nuts. Now, I haven't actually watched it yet. I kind of just uh, clicked at the end. It was just like final trailer coming next Sunday, which means that the update might release in two weeks. Uh, one of my friends told me that, uh, that they think that, which is insane. But let's actually give this thing a proper watch. Update 17 part three, baby. Oh my God, I'm excited. Now, the craziest part is that during this trailer, they show off so many things that we've never seen before. Right there, we got the dead guy. I mean, we've seen that guy before, but part one. Ooh. All right, so first and foremost, here we can already see a bit of an iconic scene. Here you have Rip Indra with the new two cursed swords, the one that we just talked about earlier, charging up for a crazy X slash attack on a dragon user. Oh boy, does that excite me. <laughs> Dude, that looks mental. Now, guys, a lot of things are currently happening, but oh my God, look at all of these crazy new effects. Everything looks absolutely mental. All of the different effects are just crazy. Oh my God, dude. Is that? Oh my God, I have so many things I want to talk about. There is the new double curse sword. <laughs> 
<laughs> awakening. Which awakening are we going to be getting? I think he was just flying. Dude, there are so many new things happening. It is crazy. Fruit re reworks. I think that was the spring fruit right there. We have, I think that is also the spring fruit. Dude, that is a dark fruit remake right there, which is honestly one of the uglier looking fruits. So very excited about that. Lava fruit reworks. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I think that is the soul fruit maybe. I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to slow that down a little bit and have a proper look. Just crazy lava effects, fire effects, the whole nine yards, man. Oh my God. Now guys, before we just start completely watching the entire video, because it's honestly extremely well made and absolutely nuts. Let's look at some of these new effects that are only shown if you slow the video down a lot. Right here, you can see the new electric, you know, electric fighting stuff. Brrr, shock effect. Previously, it looked kind of outdated and ugly. Now it's looking like that, which is pretty freaking sick. Also, it has like a little jump attack, it looks like. Very cool. Also, we have this effect right here going on where they pretty much just have these giant spike looking things coming out of the ground. I don't know what fruit it is. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking that it might be the awakened spike fruit because that would be just really freaking cool. Also, right here, you can see the chop fruit. I'm assuming it's the chop fruit doing a slight... Wait! Oh, oh, did I just spot something? I think that those are spikes on his hands. That means that it might actually be the spike fruit awakening. That is so dope. And that must mean that that is also a part of that same fruit being the spike fruit. Oh, oh so that is insane. <laughs> Yes, look at that. Oh, we got ourselves a brand new chop fruit effect right here. Looking snazzy as ever, man. Looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is so sick looking. Also, I don't know what this effect right here is. It looks like he's flying, but I have no idea with what ability this could possibly be. It looks crazy. I think that might actually be the new god human fighting style, which has also been teased, which I actually forgot to talk about so far, by the man, the myth, the legend, Magic Bus himself, which pretty much he had a little tweet contest with with uh, Rip Indra himself, that he would get a teaser if he got enough retweets. And uh, he got enough retweets, meaning that he got these four teasers right here. Pretty much, we got ourselves the new God Human fighting style being teased right here. This, These are the abilities. Raging Beast, Heaven and Earth, Sixth Realm Gun, absolutely mental. Here we got some of the effects. So I think that we can assess that what we saw in the trailer earlier is not the God Human fighting style, but dude, look at that stuff, man. That, <laughs> that looks so exciting, man. I'm very excited about this stuff. But yeah, that means that this right here must be something completely different, which I have no clue what it's gonna be. Oh, is all of this stuff the Quake Fruit? But oh, we already have an Awakened Quake. <laughs> oh yeah, this is new Quake stuff. Oh my God. All right, so these are the different fruit reworks right here that we're currently looking at. So that's part of the spring abilities, which makes you launch forward. Looks a lot nicer. The gabang onto the ground with the spring fruit. Yes. And yeah, that right there is actually the flying ability that comes with the spring fruit that you don't really see used too often. And it also honestly looks really, really bad. So to see that updated is very nice. Yeah, right here we have some of the new dark effects, which look beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful stuff right here. At least I assume that's the dark fruit. It could be the gravity fruit, but it honestly looks more like dark to me. Some more dark effects right there looking absolutely juicy. Da, 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 da. There you can see the clap ability that we saw on Twitter. Bang! With the lava hands. Look at that. <laughs> that looks nuts. Also, some other new lava abilities, dude. This stuff is just mind-blowing, man. It honestly boggles my mind even looking at this stuff, man. It looks so much different. They have genuinely gone in and completely changed everything about block fruits. Okay, guys, so this thing right here is what I was kind of confused about. What are those little little green I don't really know what that is, to be honest with you. I think that is part of the new fire fruit abilities and the fire fruit remakes, which are just looking bonkers in all honesty. And then from the fire fruit, we start getting into the, some some of the new the ice fruit abilities, which are once again, just insane, man. Like, honestly, all of this new stuff is kind of crazy. The new X already, what do you call it? The, 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 the bang, ground slam. I think it's the V ability. Dude. Oh, this right here, I don't even know what this is. Like, the, some of these effects just look so new. Oh, oh, it's the new two swords. Oh, you can see some of their effects. Wait, what is that right there? That green effect. I think that's what we saw earlier as well. Never seen anything like this. Whoa, new area. A new area in the game. Dude, I didn't even realize this earlier. Here, let me pause at the perfect time. Guys, look at this. What am I looking at? It looks like some sort of like secret ruin that you can find somewhere in the ocean. It looks beautiful. Oh my God, dude. This is one of the new areas and it just looks crazy. Okay, this is God human, I think. And there 
Bang! That right there is the brand new fruit of the game, guys. That right there is the leopard fruit. Yes, guys, you heard me correctly. The leopard fruit. Now you might be thinking Leopard fruit. Let me tell you about the leopard fruit. The leopard fruit looks so sick. And actually, guys, just to put things into perspective, I actually grabbed this clip of the original user of the leopard fruit, Rob Lucky, doing some of his abilities. Look at this guy. Grab him by the tilt. Maybe we can start slamming people around by our tilts. I'm just speculating about the abilities right now because honestly, I didn't really watch the trailer yet. But dude, slam him. No, he just shoots a laser beam out of his fist. I don't know why this is a ability for... for <laughs> I don't know why this is an ability for the leopard fruit, but dude, it looks sick. And yeah, guys, I actually Googled all of the different abilities that the fruit has. And if you look right here, it grants you enhanced strength, durability, speed and agility, powerful teeth and jaws, re retractable claws. You can like, like, like Wolverine. Um, stealth, enhanced senses, and enhanced climbing and jumping capabilities. Very cool stuff. Now let's keep watching the trailer. If we can get any clues about the fruit right now, because dude, look at that right there. Also, quick side note, it is going to be part of the uh, Zoan type fruit. So like think Phoenix and the Falcon fruit. It's going to be like one of those. All right, let's see. Can we spot anything really incredible here? So that right there is the two swords. My man's straight up glowing. Rubber versus leopard. Oh my God. I just showed you rubber versus leopard. The official fight. Okay, wait, this my man. <gasps> yes, I think this is the clip where they show him turn. Oh, there you can see him with the abilities. Wait, he just went into a T-pose. Can we just acknowledge the fact that he just T-pose on us? <laughs> what is he doing in a Fortnite emo emote for, man? Oh, yeah, he's T-posing. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So yeah, guys, this is kind of like what I was talking about earlier. I think in this trailer, you don't get to see those models of the rubber fruit, but they might have very well been at it. And yeah, dude, just seeing the leopard fruit in combat right here is mental looking. It looks so sick. Now, I think those are like those like uh, those like, laser beams that I was kind of talking about that you can see in the actual anime. But what the heck is that? He just <laughs> cannon into the sky. Oh, my God. Oh, you can see the particle effects right there, dude. They look insane. Like these fruits truly look like they are on a new level. I think Rip Intra was being serious when he said that. Dude, look at this stuff, man. Oh, it's just like just like boof, like laser beams coming out of his body. No, yeah, guys, I think they're also really going to play into the in increased speed, agility and just like like, you know, movement speed in general because he looks extremely fast already all right guys i think right here you can actually see some of the new god human abilities oh dude they look so cool yeah oh my god dude he just did a what bang on him oh here's a new clip of the cursed dual katana you can see them in action look at those effects right there that should be illegal something looking that cool like that's insane <laughs> first is the dragon <laughs> the x slice yes wait the soul guitar so this is what we saw earlier. Like I said, I think at some point I mentioned the soul, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not the soul fruit, uh, the revive fruit. Kind of looked like the revive fruit. This must be uh, Brooke's guitar. And that is going to be, I think, a gun, which is looking amazing. Dude, there is so much stuff in this update. It actually blows my mind. That looks mental. Oh, here's the new island. Wait, is the new island? No, it's not. Wait, are they showing that this is going to be a faster boat now? Or, oh, it must be some sort of like boat update. Oh yeah, these, these, guys, these two boats are definitely going at the same speed. Speed. But I think what, what they're mostly showing off right here is actually the new effects. Yeah, look at those new boat speeds and just effects in general. They look insane. And I think right there, yep, that right there is the end of the trailer. Final tease, final trailer coming next Sunday. Very exciting stuff, which means that there's a good chance that the week after that, we might we might be getting the update, which would be so nice. So guys, you might be thinking to yourself, Jesse, what can I do to prepare for this update? And honestly, I would say that you should probably go ahead and rank or and level up the dough fruit the spike fruit and honestly as many fruits as you can uh that you might suspect might be getting an awakening up to level 400 because the phoenix fruits when it, when that get, got its like quote unquote legendary awakening you have to be level 400 also you should probably be leveling up every single fighting style in the game to level 400 so you can actually prepare for the uh new god human fighting style and yeah guys that is what i honestly think you should be doing right now but yeah guys with that I think we've checked out every single one of the different update teasers that have come out. If I've missed anything, let me know down in the description. And guys, with that, I'll see you later, boys. Peace!